essentially sucker punched her. Um, it's just, it's just terrible. Columbus restaurant owners are putting a customer on blast after video shows the woman slapping a manager. They say they posted this video on social media, hoping to find her and bring her to justice. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Yolanda Harris. Andrew's off. 10 TV's Brittany Bailey is in the studio tonight with more on what led up to that slap. Britt? Well, Yolanda, this happened last night at Kai's Crab Boil off Bethel Road on the north side of Columbus, and the owners wasted no time in trying to find the woman you'll see in this video. Inside Kai's Crab Boil Thursday night, tensions came to a boil. A customer was questioning a credit card transaction. And she was showing it to me, and I like I got the frustration. I understand it's very frustrating when stuff like that happens. Manager Courtney Hickey says the customer pulled out her chip card too early and that transaction still pinged her account. She tried to explain, but the customer still seemed upset. I always just try to approach, you know, difficult customers at, with a different, you know, like trying to see things from their point of view is the best way I, I can describe it, I guess. This customer seemed to view what happened as unacceptable, and this is what happened next. Definitely was surprised when it happened, um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting it. She, I mean, she has essentially sucker punched her. Um, it's just, it's just terrible. It, and it, I can't even convey how angry it makes me. Co-owner Tiffany Cho says the restaurant has been open for nearly four years and nothing like this has ever happened before. We have this restaurant as a way to bring people together and to enjoy good food. Um, and. There's absolutely no reason or no place for that kind of violence here. And that's why the owners decided to post the video and pictures of the customer on their social media accounts. We felt that it was really important to, you know, really have our uh, our employees backs and we want to find this person and bring them to justice and and also to ensure that, you know, that it doesn't happen in the future with other people that this person might interact with. I just hope that, um, you know, she doesn't come back, I guess, and um, that other people see it and, and realize how awful it looks and how much it affects other people and that they don't do it as well, I guess. The owners did file a report and Columbus police tell us this case is still open and they would like to find this customer. Yolanda. Mm.